Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be part of a series on command prompt and the first part will be on navigating command prompt. By the end of it you should be quite confident with navigating around it. So first things first, I'm going to give you an idea what we're going to do. I created a folder on my desktop and I want to navigate to it and then we want to open the picture in that folder and then we want to navigate forward and back and we want to see how we can copy paste into a command prompt. You may notice that this folder is actually called uh, Navigating DOS, and it's quite deliberately called that because we're not really working with DOS here. However, the concept of navigating around DOS and Command Prompt is essentially the same, so you can use them in both. But don't get confused with MS DOS and Command Prompt is not the same thing. We can use the same concepts in them though. We're going to start out with actually going down here in the search menu, and if you click that, and we type CMD, it should bring up command prompt. We do that, and on here we then want to right click and run as administrator. We're going to run as administrator to get uh, permissions to execute files. In here, you're going to see that we in the C on the C drive and in Windows directory and a system32 directory. Right, so I want to get into this navigating DOS directory on my desktop. The way we're going to do this is we're going to open it and then we're going to find the find the path to it. So we can copy paste the path in. So we get the path up here, control C. And then in a command prompt you then want to do C D and then you want to right click and paste it in. Like that. And then enter. I use quotes to avoid spaces missing up things. You can do it without. Just sometimes you need quotes. In case there's a space in like here navigating DOS there's a space. Right, we're now in this directory. And I might want to go back to the desktop directory and see what's in it. First we can see it, what's in the directory by typing DII. You see there? List everything that's in this directory. We've got two folders. Not directories, sorry. Documents and pictures. And go backwards by using cd dot dot. And here you will then notice that we have one directory when we do a DI again. And that's our navigating DOS. So we go back to that one. In order to quickly find the names, you can tap. You use your tap keys. You can cycle through them. So you type CD again. And I might want to go into my pictures folders this time. So if I type PI and then tap and enter, now we're in the picture folders. And DRI again and list everything in a folder. And in here, we can see we have a few lemurs. I might want to have a look at one of the lemurs. I'm very fond of lemurs. So, oop, sorry, I will show you how to go back to actually doing, see what's in this directory. See, there's no files listed in here. Anyway, let's go back to having a look at what's in that lemur folder, a lemur picture. So, if you do DR, list of the names of the lemur. And I can then open the file by just typing its name. So tap tap around and there we have. I want to open Lima King. Just enter it and just give it a bit of time. Let's open it out and it's photos. Just open that, just show look. And while this is loading, let's just have a look here, yeah. So you get everything listed with typing D I R. And you navigate forth and back with CD. There we have fancy lemur. And you use the dots, two dots, to go backwards. So that's not a problem. If you, for example, want to go to the E drive, like here, if you just choose that one and navigating dots on the E drive. If I copy paste this in while I'm on the C drive, it won't work. You see, type there. We will still be in. What you need to do in this case is you need to type E and colon and then enter. That will bring you over to the other drive. So remember that if you're struggling to change drive, you do that. Just E and colon. No slashes or anything. And that's everything for this tutorial on navigating command prompt. In the next part of the series, we will be looking on how to execute batch files and executable files so you can get everything down to a finite art. 
and these skills become very valuable once you actually start working with things like Node.js. It's really valuable things to have because you can do a lot of things that would take a lot of time to do through the graphical user interface. As always, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Thank you very much and see you soon again.